Hello and welcome YouTube, it's Sir Tommy Base here and today the subject matter is Modern Warfare Remastered Newest Patch um, and other things Call of Duty um, well one thing my channel is well known for is uh, Call of Duty videos I do tend to jump in and out of them here and there um, today is more on a serious note about the series um, I think it's something we need to discuss and I'm going to give Activision's notes, their points of view, and other people's point of view, and my point of view. So, uh, without a doubt, here we go. Here is what is going on. Now, if you may see <laughs> right on the screen right now, you can probably see there is a weapon been added in to the update. Um, I'm kind of happy, and I'm kind of extremely pissed off at the same time. Um, there's many reasons why I'm happy, there's many reasons why I'm pissed off, and I'm going to go through these. So, the first weapon is the XML, sorry, XM-LAR, uh, fully automatic with high power, effective at medium to long range. Not a problem, okay? They've tested this in game in, in gameplay, and they've apparently done vigorous testing to, to balance the, to balance out the, the, the uh, the, 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 or the gameplay altogether, all the guns to make sure it's not overpowered or anything. Uh, I've just played online and someone was completely owning with one. I don't know if that's to do with the balancing or not. Um, but I'm going I'm to go to the next weapon before, I, before any of this I say. And I, I have a statement to read from, from Activision as well. Um, so we're just going to skip over to the next one, which is a shotgun. The Camacho 12. Fully automatic shotgun, effective at close range. Um, this is the first fully automatic shotgun ever in a Modern Warfare, as in the original Modern Warfare. So, yes, that's, that's also in there, and <laughs> it's locked. And the next gun is a sidearm, a 44 Magman. Semi-automatic with high power, effective at close range. So, sort of, really just another skin of the Desert Eagle, which is not so bad. In fact, the stats are exactly the same. That needs to be tested though. Right, now let's go back to this. Okay. Right. First I'm gonna read Activision's little little uh, comment they made about what's going on here. This is exactly what what, what they uh, posted. Today we're excited to support Modern Warfare Remastered with with more content and introduce even more customized items into Modern Warfare Remastered. Personalization continues to be enjoyed by all community. And we all seen how much players enjoy building the gameplay experience that they want, which is something that wasn't really possible during the original release. So we are stoked to deliver to the fans plenty of options to customize, personalize and continue the fun with new, new items. We also looked very closely at gameplay balance uh, as well as well. But like everyone, we absolutely love the weapons currently in the game, but we want to add even more variety to the arsenal. Today we are adding three modern era guns. The Kamacha Taka 12 uh, automatic shotgun, the XM LAR assault rifle, and the 44 Magnum pistol. Like every other weapon, they each have strengths and weaknesses to ensure proper game balance, and though extensive testing, we know players will have a blast. As a studio, Balance remains one of our number one priorities, and just like many of the new items we've brought in, you can obtain them by completing a collection of items you you acquire with your with your parts or through supply drops. Okay, so first part, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna say what's good about it first, and then I'm gonna rip seven hells of shit into it. Um, so if you wanna. Stay for that end part of the video where I'm really going to rip into Activision. Um, you know, do stay. So, but first I've got to praise them for certain things. First thing is, is to keep the game alive. Now, I don't mind they've added new weapons in. And I'm going to get to the bad point of it. So don't worry, I'm not praising them completely. And, and, and I don't completely mind that they've put weapons in. Just stay to the end and you'll hear my reason. So I don't completely mind they added new weapons in, because it needed fresh gameplay. I did like the original gameplay, um, but as we look here, there's probably a gun which has the same status. So I'm probably going to say the M4 Carbine, if anything, it matches up to. So there's no way of comparing the guns 
to really one another. Actually, no, there's nothing. It's got to be all green to really say it's better. But yeah, there's nothing really I can compare it to. So that's a that's a bad point actually. Um, now the good thing is it, it adds fresh gameplay to it and it adds something to play with really. Uh, three new guns means more challenges, more camos they've added in, more calling cards. I praise them for the cameras and the calling cards. That is a good idea. New characters, that's also a really, really good idea. I, I, I mean, I don't mind the new character thing. It's just I don't want everyone playing the same character. It's the only issue I have with with selecting, be able to personalise what you look like. That's the only problem I have with that. Um, but the main problem I have is with these guns, um, which I'm going to get to in a minute. Now, many point of view of other people is that the guns are going to ruin the game. Um, on a certain level, it will. On a certain level, it definitely won't. Because fresh gameplay is what we all want. I mean, a lot of people want the original feeling, but yeah, it it did it, it did need new content. It needs, I think, it even maybe some new maps as well to go into it. But add that as a different separate playlist. Um, just make sure I'm putting that in, you know, so people can hear me. Uh, if there is new maps added in, a separate playlist or a playlist for all original maps, so they can open up new servers and say right. Uh, new 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 map playlist, old map playlist, and so 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 like the old the new map playlist will mix with will be will be mixed with the old sort of thing. So that, you know that's what I I want to see if they add new maps to it. Um, but I, I definitely think we should see the DLC added in for free. Now this is where I'm gonna get quite pissed off with um, with Activision. So what they've done is. To say the balance to it, that's why I kept laughing when I, when I tried to say that they, they balanced it. How the hell can Activision call this balanced if when the only way to legitimately unlock the, the fucking gun is, let's have a look, is you have to unlock every single one of these with salvage to unlock that. How the hell is that balanced? Now, now let me just have a look at this. Just one second. What's my rank? 20, level 20, because I haven't really had the much chance to play this one because I've got so much other stuff I play as well. But, you know, get to, work, to, get to rank 20, it still takes a fair bit. And, you know, I've, I've opened up quite a, a few supply drops in my time. But, now, you would have thought by now we'd have more than 53 fucking salvage. 53 fucking salvage. No other way to earn salvage. No other way to earn salvage than getting duplicates in supply drops. Now, as we go back into the creator class menu let's go back in um where's the gun let's click on the gun again the xlmar click back onto it again okay i've got 53 so the lowest one i can actually get is 165 salvage and that goes up to something stupid to a character i'd have to unlock at 2150 fucking salvage now don't get me wrong i know the call duty has been a you know being a fucking grind game but this takes the fucking piss this takes the fucking piss. Activision, what the fuck do you think you're doing, right? If you want balancing it for the game, it would only be fair if everyone had access to the weapons at the same time. Access at the same time and not put in new weapons and, you know, a new content for a fresh gameplay only to say, hey, you want to play the new guns? Fuck you, give me money. Pay, pay for supply drops or fucking keep playing and grinding out while you're getting your ass whipped to shit because someone who's got a, a rich father or, or someone who has a good fucking job or just ha just has no money to spend on anything else in their life is sitting there fucking buying supply drops. They've got the gun already, ripping 10 shits of shreds out of everyone with them. But, you know, you can't feel the balance because you can't unlock the guns because you have to grind your way up or pay. Now, that is my point here. I didn't mind them adding new weapons, but the fact they put a paywall in front of it, that takes the fucking piss. Activision, go fuck yourselves. Honestly, go fuck yourselves at this point. It is fucking terrible what you're doing to the COD community. You've got a hell of a good game, and you are destroying it. You are destroying something that is precious to many people. A Call of Duty game, which has been a classic. Hey, I even fucking praise you for remastering the game. Yeah, I mean, yes, you shouldn't have released it only with Infinite Warfare Legacy Edition, but fuck it, I buy every Call of Duty that comes out, because I'll be honest, I'm a fanboy of Call of Duty, but I'm not, I'm not that much of a fanboy not to ridicule you. Fuck you, Activision. Seriously, uh, Raven Software, I don't know if you're a part of this, but if you were, fuck you. 
you know i know activision has so much hold of it because you know because you know the shareholders are through activision and if this video goes over 15 minutes i do apologize guys i will do a part two but fuck activision officially um i will buy the next cod probably um it depends how pissed off i get really actually i'm um, getting to the point now where they're ruining everything with call of duty now even the new dlc for infinite warfare it's fucking shit a black ops 3 two new weapons dropped in there today the ppsh and the m16 and once again locked behind a fucking paywall stop with the fucking paywalls the paywalls are what are destroying it. it i tell you what if you really want people if you really want people to buy supply drops okay and you don't want to lose your whole community let the weapons be free or unlockable if you get a certain amount of kills with a certain weapon or something like that and then to get people to buy your supply drops or you know want to grind out and unlock them or actually you know just physically buy them these weapon kits are a good idea fuck it i like these weapon kits ideas i'll show you what i mean by the weapon kits um we're just going to click on this right they do nothing to damage they do nothing to anything they just change the look of the gun add a few bandings around it or something that is fucking awesome i like that I, that is a good idea and you should just do a shit ton of them and make the weapons free because people go hey that gun looks fucking awesome how do i do that oh supply drops okay that's cool you know that's cool supply drops or unlocking it because it doesn't affect the fucking gameplay when you lock weapons behind a wall you're affecting the gameplay you are, flex, you are affecting the flow of the game. You are not balancing the game. You are putting money first. You are milking your customers. You are milking them. This is a wrong practice. And they should not be doing this. Not one bit. This is fucking wrong. It is fucking terrible. What they are doing to Call of Duty. This is why people are leaving your game... And they're going on to things like Battlefield 1 because they're not getting milked. And the supply drops in that, they have sworn to be only cosmetic. Okay? The only other things you get in it are melee weapons, which are still really cosmetic, if anything. You know, the, o the only thing in Battlefield is the cosmetic. I mean, yeah, we know Battlefield can be expensive with a DLC as well. You know, EA is, is not completely innocent on that side. But at least the quality is there. The content is in there. Look at the size of the fucking maps in Battlefield and the quality they put into them. And you look at Call of Duty. They do small maps and you only get four of them. Battlefield do humongous maps and you get four of them. Put that into perspective. How long it would take to, take, to make a Battlefield map to a Call of Duty map and the size and the sheer scale and the fact just yeah you know it is it is ridiculous um it's fucking ridiculous and the fact with battlefield as well it's not just the maps you get weapons you get vehicles um so i suggest if you do get pissed off with this game you leave activision tell them to go fuck themselves and join ea with battlefield don't praise ea but praise them for what they're doing, not adding, you know, weapons like that. I mean, I know weapons are coming in as DLC. Okay, don't get me wrong, they're coming in as DLC. But you can go on certain servers where DLC is not allowed. That's what I like about Battlefield. They do standard initial ro ro rifle modes. So, I'm not saying Battlefield's completely innocent with a weapon thing. But the fact is, if you, at least if you do want the weapons, you can just buy the DLC, which gives you four maps as well. Where in this, you just have to sit there spamming a fucking button until you randomly get something you want. You know? The only game I've seen, one of the only games, there's a couple of games which, are, which this, this supply drop system or random box, this loot box system I've seen that's worked, is I'd probably say Plants vs Zombies 2 and Mass Effect, which are both EA games. So, what the fuck are you doing, Activision? You need to sort it out. You need to sort it out. And please, guys, please share this video. I want people to see this and people to, to listen. Because um, I don't think Call of Duty should get the hate for adding the guns in. But they should, they should get the fucking hate for locking them behind behind a paywall. There should be. There's no reason for it to be locked behind a paywall at all. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. Let me know how you feel about this issue. If you do think that... It is bullshit, or if you do like it, please comment down below, I will respond.